Niels Bohr presented the model of the hydrogen atom in 1913. The model consists of a small, dense nucleus surrounded by orbiting electrons, much like the planetary model of the solar system. Electrons are held to the nucleus through the electrostatic force of attraction, which provides the required centripetal force. The Bohr model postulates that electrons revolve around the nucleus in fixed circular paths called orbit, energy level, or stationary state. Each energy level corresponds to a definite energy of the electron, and electrons can only occupy a set of certain discrete energies. This property of a system to occupy a set of discrete values is called quantization. Bohr suggested that the radii of electrons in an atom are quantized and can take on only a set of discrete numbers. The radius of an allowed orbit can be found using the relation R equals n square or not, where n is an integer representing the energy level and R not is a constant representing the radius of the first energy level. This relationship shows that the radius of the second orbit is four times bigger than the first one, and the third and fourth orbits are nine and sixteen times bigger, respectively. The energy level closest to the nucleus is called the ground state, while the orbits farther away are called excited states. Electrons absorb energy when they jump from a low energy level to a high one, and emit energy when they jump from a high to a low energy level. The energy absorbed or emitted is equal to the difference in energy between the two levels, E equals E2 minus E1. The energy of an electron at a specific energy level in an atom can be found using the relation E equals minus E not over N square, where N is an integer representing the energy level and E not is a constant equal to minus 13.6 electron volt representing the energy of the electron in the ground state. This relationship shows that the energy of an electron in the first orbit is minus 13.6 electron volt. And in the second and third orbits, it is one-fourth and one-ninth the energy of electron in the first orbit. The angular momentum of an electron in a quantized orbit is also quantized, given by L equals NH over 2 pi, where n is an integer representing the energy level, and h is Planck's constant. According to this relation, in the first orbit, the angular momentum of an electron is h over 2 pi. In the second and third orbits, it is 2 times and 3 times h over 2 pi, respectively, and so on. In summary, the Bohr model explains electron behavior in atoms with fixed energy levels and emission of light when returning to lower levels. It also introduced quantization, restricting system properties to discrete values. Thank you for watching.